Hey guys, my name is Jacob Ferguson, um, and today we are going to be talking about India Farah. Now, I have a script, because one of you, the only person who commented, hello, asked me to prepare a script, so I have it. So, I'm going to go through the introduction. India Farah was, is somebody who I will enjoy in drag. Everybody's going to be like, well, you know, she basically waitlisted Alexis Mateo. Derek and India have beef. And she was the villain of All Stars 5. And, you know, why do you like her so much? Well, I'm going to tell you a funny little thing. She was the first one who ever answered me back on Instagram. Um, and followed me. Um, which, I mean, it was awesome. It's awesome getting to chat with her. Um, I've chatted with Davina de Campo, um, Rock and Chakra. Kennedy has seen some of the things that I've sent her. She hasn't responded, but she's seen them. Phoenix, Tasha, and also Chi Chi Devane, rest in peace. Um, so India, let's 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 talk about her. So was she good on season three? Now, here's the reason being. Jesus. She wasn't in her element. And, as a result, her aesthetic didn't fit well with the season 3 cast, and she got eliminated fourth. Now, I believe that she would have been eliminated third, if not for the Mimi on first fiasco. Um... Mimi and first up to that point had been low and then high, so she had sort of a better track record than India Farah did. Um, but Mimi and first got nipped in the butt and left. India Farah stays for another episode, but Stacey Lane Matthews is like, "Bitch, I gotta win snatch game. Fuck you. I'm I'm taking your spot." So she did. And India Farah left Drag Race with no one remembering her. Except for on Watch Mojo's lists of the top ten worst anime betrayals with Mimi on first. Um, she was mentioned in so many videos, but nobody, nobody cared about why she was on the show. All they remembered was drag was not a contact sport. So, I'm scrolling through Instagram. This was way back. And I see All Stars 5 cast leaked. And it was probably, I didn't look at the video, but it was probably one of those iPhone made videos of like, where they put Darian Lake in All Stars 3 by accident, when we all know it was Thorgy Thor. So, I was like, okay, somebody else on Facebook had put the entire cast list down. And as I'm scrolling, I see, oh, Shea Coule, obviously. Oh, Jujube. Of course, Latrilla had already competed, so, of course, Jujube. Alexis. All right. Mayhem. Hmm. Mayhem Miller? Why Mayhem and not... Dusty Ray Bottoms. I got those two confused for a minute there, but then I'm like, oh, mayhem, mayhem. Miss Cracker. Okay, yeah, she made top five. Blair St. Clair. Knew it. Knew she was going to be in All Stars 5. Thought she was going to be in All Stars 4, to tell you the truth. Derek Berry. Okay, that's. I don't care. Derek Berry. Eh, whatever. Angina. Finally, yes! Angina. 
my Paris Balenciaga. Hmm? Oh, that Mariah. I don't get it. And then I see India Farah, and I'm like, you're going to put India Farah on All Stars. And yet, Stacey Lane Matthews is sitting over there with her Don't Funk It Up and um, Everybody Say Love credits sitting there like, I could have been on All Stars 4, but they wanted to replace me with somebody. Now I'll never get a chance at All Stars. Comment below, hashtag justice for Stacey Lane Matthews. Anyway, so India Farah, who was eliminated fourth, remember that. See, since she was eliminated fourth, that was a little suspect. And now that Serena Cha Cha is going to be on All Stars, I'm like, okay, they're just allowing anybody to be on All Stars now, which is fine. I mean, Serena Cha Cha probably will do well, don't know, don't really care to know yet, um, but India Farah, I felt that she was not gonna be on All Stars for a while, because nobody remembered her, in fact, I think it was great that she was on All Stars, I was just confused, so the promo comes out, and immediately, and this was when I was talking with India, immediately I'm like, I see her runway, her entrance look, and I'm like, out of the entrance looks, I ranked them, and it went, Mariah, let's be honest, not a good look. No, it was actually Derek, then Mariah. Mariah still was not a good look, but Derek, another topic, but Derek, I'm staring into my camera. You're gonna say that you're a drag queen. You do Britney well. We get it. We understand. You can stop doing Britney now. Do something else. More fun. Alexis Mateo. I really didn't rank the rest of them. I know Mayhem's was some thing she bought off Amazon. Not judging. But India Farah's was the second most fabulous for me. The first one was Angina, and let's be real here, Angina deserved that. And so I'm like, okay, what is India Farah going to bring to the table? And India Farah is a lot more out there now. She's like, <laughs> yes, bitch, I'm getting my coin, I'm going to do this. Fails at the reading challenge, although not as bad as Angina, fails at the reading challenge. She and Derek both, girl, I know you have beef, and I know that it is tea and all of this, I get that, but read your other contestants too, because Derek was just going hard for... India, and India was like, well, I'm going to retitle your rebuttal, and I'm going to do this, this, and this, and you can't stop me, and anyway, me, me. So, India and Derek argue in the workroom, obviously, and then for her talent show, she does drag is not a contact sport, the only thing that India was known for on season three. She ends up winning the entire talent show, which... Yes, but also, why was Miss Cracker up there? Come on, girl. Mariah Paris Balenciaga performs, I don't know what just happened, performs a freaking beautiful solo thing. And you're going to go, mm -hmm, Miss Cracker, let's, let's do this. How are you today, sweetheart? Girl, no. Rue, what are you doing? We needed Mariah to be more confident. And obviously we know that immediately since Derek is in the bottom, India's like, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you had your chance, Derek, but now I have the upper hand. And she 
immediately is like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna vote for whoever I feel did not make me laugh the hardest. We knew, we been knew the moment that they locked eyes in the workroom and Derek was in the bottom. India was like, I, you out. So, Evie Oddly comes out, and in the one lip sync that I actually enjoyed in All Stars 5, listen, Candy Davenport, I can understand she's a lip sync assassin. Morgan McMichaels, you know. Roxy Andrews, absolutely. Alyssa Edwards, yeah. Chi Chi Devane needed to be there. Coco, how are you going to do a lip sync assassin moment and not include someone who survived three lip syncs on her season and those were some of the most iconic lip syncs of her season? How? But you're going to include freaking Banji. Well, Banji survived two lip syncs. Who did they include that was just trash? Well, Kennedy got that slow country song, but that's a moot point. India and Evie lip sync to Live in La Vida Loca by Ricky Martin, who's a guest judge. And it's awesome! I cannot, like, I've been listening to the Shrek 2 soundtrack, so, like, Antonio Banderas and Eddie Murphy doing Live in La Vida Loca, yes. Ricky Martin's Live in La Vida Loca, I'm like, this doesn't have, this doesn't have Eddie Murphy in it. But India and Evie kill it. Both of them do. Yes, Evie was a little bit more energetic, but keep in mind, India Farah just freaking demolished the stage. She doesn't have that much energy left. So, obviously, India Farah loses the lip sync, and Evie announces that they plan to send home Derek. India, in the next challenge, the girl group challenge, which I'm glad that they replaced the um, Rusical with that, but at the same time, I had dreams in All Stars 4 that Trinity the Tuck was going to dress as Sarah Palin. I wanted that to be real. And the fact that it isn't real, no. I, Trinity, I doubt if you're going to watch this. Please, for God's sakes, put on some glasses and a, like a brownish wig. Please do Sarah Palin. I don't know why, I just want to see that. India sings about Justin Timberlake. Now, we all know that Justin Timberlake did Britney Spears, and who does Derek play? Madonna. No. Britney. Obviously, that's the only reason she chose that. In fact, her song lyric of, I sent that Britney back because I feel very attacked. You didn't do shit, India. You voted for her but you didn't win the lip sync. So, in that same episode, they're like, mm -hmm. here's the here's the tea, sis. Your outfit, her outfit, gorgeous. We didn't like your performance. You're going to be up for elimination. And then Angina's like, hey, put me instead. And everybody's like, okay. And Mariah's just sitting there like, I sing about a fish. And so, Shay Coule, which she did chat with Bozeman, who is from my state of South Carolina, so, <laughs> recognition by Shay Coule, um, picks Angina's lipstick. Now, if Angina hadn't done that to herself, I think that either, that Mariah would have left, would have gone. The next episode, she's put with Jujube and Alexis again. Listen, why? You could have put her with literally Shea Coulee or Ms. Cracker or somebody like that, but Jujube ends up winning. And out of the three, India is the only one that ends up in the bottom against Mariah and Shea. Cracker should have been in the bottom instead of Mariah. 
but you know, she had the Faberge eggs, so we're not going to put her up for elimination. Plus, she's a front runner, and um, we needed to send Mariah home because Bianca Del Rio had a message for her. So they send Mariah home, and it was at that point that I'm like, should India have gone? She was in the bottom last week. She's in the bottom again this week. Well, you know, maybe it's for the best. The CMC challenge, cringy. I did not like any of it. Even though Cracker was the winner, I hated it. That was not a very good challenge. Everybody's camera one ways though, girl, fabulous. India Farah and Mayhem Miller are up for elimination. Okay, Mayhem, this is your second time. India, this is your third. I feel like India should go home here. No, pick me. Oh, Jesus, Mayhem, not you too. Come on. I don't deserve to be here because I've lived out my full fantasy. No, don't leave. You're about to do Snatch Game. Don't, Mayhem. And then Morgan is like, Bitch, I also won, so Mayhem. Finally, Snatch Game happens, and... Girl. Obviously, if... Alexis was on Shade's team, and Juju B was on India's spot. If the, if Alexis and Juju had switched places, Shay would have ended up the winner. But Juju B, girl, perfect snatch game. It's at this point that um, India goes, yeah. Uh, so when we were planning on voting on Shay, um, it was me and Mayhem and Alexis. And uh, Alexis asked, uh, told, had a conspiracy. Now, obviously, this is a lie. Because if you look at the voting, India didn't vote for Shay. If they wanted to get out a competition, a competitor, they would have campaigned. She didn't campaign. She was like, these two, because India was a close friend of Alexis's, and Mayhem enjoyed her Obviously, they're going to keep India and Mariah in. They were just voting Shay to vote Shay. Because you know nobody else is going to vote Shay Kule. Who in their right mind would vote for Shay Kule? Well, me. If I had to stay safe, girl, I'd be voting Shay Kule almost every time. I'm sorry, Shay. I love you. But you slipped up, and so we had to vote for somebody. India Farah does Jeffree Star. <laughs> uh, listen, Snatch Game of Love, ugh, I, I don't like it. I like the regular Snatch Game, because Blair St. Clair d decided to do Ellen, and she wasn't very funny. Ms. Cracker did Lady Gaga, and that wasn't Lady Gaga, and also Miss Cracker. <sighs> but India Farrah goes, Well, I'm gonna do Jeffree Star. And everybody's like, Oh, well, he's never been done before. Um, how are you going to? Well, I'm going to look exactly like him, but none of my jokes are gonna land. But, but. No, nope, I've already made up my decision. Does anybody have a mirror? Oh, fuck it. Glenda, can I borrow your wand? Thank you. Hey, everybody. How you doing? She looks so much like Jeffree Star. And everybody goes, yes, she looks like Jeffree Star. And then she starts speaking and you're like no that's not jeffree star that is jeffree subpar what is this this is not human it is it is rita baga alien actress taking over we cannot no satan i don't trust you so they do the right thing and send india home she tries to play up the fact that alexis is stirring the pot which then causes Alexis to get eliminated the next episode, even though if Rue hadn't said, well, you know, the bottom five 
you're going to be the bottom five. So everybody's going to step up for the bottom five. Because, you know, five. And the, and, you know, then bottom four. Yes, well, you know, Alexis would have been safe. You know, she would have been in the bottom. But her pool thing was way more creative than Blair. But Blair St. Clair just happened to be... I don't know. But India Flair comes back and talks about what happened with Juju B and yada yada yada. The point was that she was a liar. But... That still doesn't allow people to send others hate. So... India Flair did good. I loved her on All Stars 5, even though she got the villain edit. Um, I'm going to upload probably two videos uh, today. Um, one is this video, and the next video, I don't know. I've written scripts for all of the All Stars 5 queens and their runs on their seasons, um, so I may do another All-Stars 5 video. Um, I will see you guys later. Good luck. Bye.